Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the conversion of the galvanometer into the voltmeter. Voltmeter is an instrument that measures the potential difference across the two ends of a resistor. Now, suppose this is the resistor across which we wish to find the potential difference, then voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the resistor. So, two ends of the voltmeter must be connected here and here, something like this that I will draw later. Now, before understanding this, you must understand one thing that if there are two 6 ohm resistances connected in series with a 24 volt battery, in this particular case, these two are in series, so 12 ohm, 24 volts, so 2 ampere current will come out from here. Now, since 2 ampere current will pass from here, the potential difference across these two ends will be 12 volts. And again, the same 2 ampere currents will pass through this resistance and again the potential difference measured over here will be 12 volts. So, in short, if this is 0 volt, if this is 24 volts, then over here you have a potential of 24 volts, a drop of 12 volts that means here we will be having 12 volts and again a drop of 12 volts and this is 0 volts somewhere over here. So, this potential drop across the 6 ohm resistor will be measured by the voltmeter that is the difference between the voltage here and the voltage here which will be measured here. So, the correct answer is 12 volts that we wish to measure the potential difference across 6 ohm resistor. Now, suppose we have the voltmeter which we connect it over here across the 6 ohm resistor in parallel. Now, suppose this voltmeter also has its own 3 ohm resistor. So, if this voltmeter has its own 3 ohm resistance, what is going to happen is this will remain 6 ohm and the equivalent of these two since these two are in parallel will behave as a single resistance of 2 ohm. It is because of the fact that 1 upon r is 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 3. If you will solve, you will get the answer as 2 ohms which means now what is going to happen? You have a single resistance of 6 ohm and the single resistance of 2 ohms which means you have total 8 ohms resistance 24 volts battery. So, 3 amperes current will come out from here. If 3 ampere currents will pass from here, the potential drop across this resistor will be 3 ampere times 16 ohms law that is 18 volts. So, out of 24 volts, 18 volts is consumed somewhere over here which means over here across you will get 6 volts as the potential difference because in series combination 24 is divided into two parts 18 is taken up by this one. Now, the potential drop across this 6 ohm resistance or the voltmeter will be 6 volts. So, this voltmeter will measure 6 volts which means our purpose of fitting this voltmeter is not completed. This voltmeter was supposed to measure 12 volts, but since it has its own resistance due to which this entire resistance became 2 ohm. So, instead of 6 ohm, this entire combination behaved as 2 ohm and now across this 2 ohm resistor, we have a potential difference of 6 volts, which means this is a very bad combination. So, what should we have? We should have a voltmeter whose resistance should be very very high and theoretically I should be saying infinite because the voltmeter that we had attached over here is actually changing the equivalent resistance over here. That should not happen. Let me explain how. 1 upon R equivalent, we want this equivalent resistance to be 6. Here equivalent resistance became 2 whereas we want 6. So, this equivalent resistance must be 6. So, I should be saying 1 upon infinity plus 1 upon 6. So, 6 and infinity are in parallel, 1 upon infinity is 0. So, 1 upon R equivalent is 1 by 6. So, equivalent resistance is 6 ohm. Here we have a galvanometer which is connected in series with a very high resistance known as shunt. Very high resistance. Correct, And this resistance is known as shunt resistance which is in series with the galvanometer. This is the resistance across which you need to measure the potential difference. I am going to call these two points as A and B and these two points as C and D. We wish to find out the potential difference between 
point C and D or across R, which is something like this. You may call this point as C, this point as D, and this R resistance as 6 ohm. And we wish to find out the potential difference between over here. And this entire combination, this entire combination is your voltmeter. So, voltmeter is basically a high resistance known as shunt in series with the galvanometer. All right. Now, let's understand what's going to happen. If current I goes over here, some current, let's say small IG goes in this direction, it will pass through this galvanometer. The same current will pass through the shunt and it will reach at point B. The remaining current is I minus IG because it is going to split up I current like this. IG goes over here. I minus IG goes down. The same I minus IG passes from here. All right. But since these two are in parallel connection, the voltage across AB is same as voltage across CD. So now G is the resistance of the galvanometer. So this multiplied by this. So IG times of G plus IG times of S is the potential difference between A and B. Current times the resistance plus current times the resistance. Now that is same as VCD which is equal to I minus IG times of the resistance R. Correct? And we want to measure this particular quantity. So which means VCD is itself equal to, I am going to take out IG common, G plus S. Now, when you will see this galvanometer, you will observe some readings over here as shown in the diagram. And one division corresponds to 20 microampere. So, which means this IG becomes 20 microampere times 3 because 3 divisions are there. I know the value of G. I know the value of S. So, by just reading IG, I am able to find out VCD which is equal to VAB. So, this is how the galvanometer works. I hope you have understood this topic well.